practice, you all need to practice Driving like a Franklin, shooting like a Franklin You all need to practice, you all need to practice Walking like a Franklin, smoking like a Franklin Franklin, 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 still Franklin, 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 still Check from the survive Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel I will be reacting to And finally Dr. Fate. So, what I said finally, because, um, what was it? Yeah, last week, sometime last week, I was trying to, um, basically, I was trying to record this, and my wife, I want to f fucking act up, so, yeah. Uh, my wife, I want to act up, so it came out pausing, pausing, resuming for a second, pausing, then resuming again. It was a pain in the ass. So, I thought, oh, yeah, I might as well down the video. No, and then later on that day, I forgot. Until now. I remember. I had to react to this. And guys, if you are watching this video, all of your videos, guys, are in... Are, um, they are in here, so don't worry. If, like, if your video is not, like, in here right now. Because I already got so many stuff to react to already. So basically, Doctor Strange vs. Doctor Faith, I think Doctor Strange will win by a long shot. Yeah, I think Doctor Faith, uh, Doctor Strange will win because of his more insane magic. I wasn't even though with his... By... I don't want to say body, but basically his body, well his spiritual body cannot be damaged, so... I wasn't even though he can be like somewhere else. Wait, isn't he like in a pocket dimension or whatever? No, anyways, I don't care. Doctor Doctor Strange will win because he had more better magic, better magic. He is a hypnotist, which can you know hypnotize. Doesn't even know with Doctor Faith. I feel like it's more. Oh, what's your prediction on this? I can't remember, but yeah, Doctor Strange will win. And plus, even though I like Doctor Strange better, and I never heard Doctor Faith in my life from DC. So let's get on with this video. Oh, right. So ignore this, guys, because I have to connect. And I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if the headphone will pick it up. But basically, I'm listening to music right now because I don't want to be bored. Um, listen, watching this. The art of magic is a perplexing thing. Only those with the right knowledge, talent, and willpower can truly claim to be the most powerful wizards of all. Like Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme of Marvel Comics. And Doctor Fate, DC's Defender of Cosmic Order. He's wins and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Dr. Stephen Strange wasn't just any brilliant neurosurgeon, he was the very best. Too bad he was also a prick who cared more about the money he made than the patients he worked on. Sensational patients bring recognition. Recognition brings money, and money keeps Wellhaven's doors open. Can't blame him, though. When your entire family kicks the bucket one by one like Stevens did, it's kinda hard to get attached to anybody else. Also, money's just great. Strange's talent at the operating table earned him celebrations worldwide. His work became more expensive, and his bank account rose into the millions. And then... A car. What superhero could not help well, text tragic and drive, story? Kids. Strange survived, but his hands got terrible nerve damage, making them useless for complex tasks like, oh, I don't know, surgery. No! Pretty inconvenient. To find a cure, Strange spent his entire oh, life and traveled the globe. Oh, that reminds me of um, the when Francine he had heard of this Francine man's from um, mystic healing powers, and at this point, uh, he was trying anything. But American Dad traded right with him last turn. Instead, he offered to teach Strange how to use magic himself and become a superhero. Who needs hands when you have magic? 
through his training, yeah. Strange discovered many secrets of the universe, along with Wee! many of the spells. He has learned so many charms, jinxes, enchantments, conjurations, hexes, and incantations that it would be impossible to list them all. Oh, now, shit! But he certainly has his favorites. Like the nearly unbreakable bands of Sidorak. Unless you're super strong like the Hulk or Thanos, <laughs> no way you're snapping. Okay, that's a pretty good He can surround um, Hulk. foes in everlasting fire with the flames of Faltine. Launch energy shots called the Bolts of Balthac. You hear say Balzac? Knock out foes with the mists of Morpheus. Balthac. And shield themselves oh, yeah, with the seven rings Never mind. of Ragador. Who the hell came up with these spell names? Whatever happened to plain old Abracadabra? Everybody loves that one. Other techniques of his include No, they just no, then they just like think of random words. What is be like? Oh yeah, a switchy spell. That's a new magic. That's a new magic. And he can turn himself into a ghost. He's dead. That's his astral form, a projection of Strange's soul separate from his body, which defies the laws of physics. Look, Wiz, he can go through walls and fly around. That's a ghost. To invoke these spells, Strange audibly calls upon the powers of the Vashanti, three godly five. beings of enormous power. Oh, yeah, that one's a kitty. I summon forth the shielding right. powers of the Vashanti. Impressive. Be sure puts Mysterio's hocus pocus to shame. Anyway, after many years of study, Strange's mentor was slain by a creepy hentai monster, and Strange was granted the title of Sorcerer Supreme, which is like a normal sorcerer with all the toppings. As Sorcerer Supreme, Strange was deemed the most powerful magic user and defender of the world. To better perform his duties, he carries wow, numerous like magical fucking... artifacts which assist him in battle. Like one the of Cloak fiction. of Levitation lets him fly without magic and has a mind of its own. Like Aladdin's magic carpet, <laughs> but way more stylish. The Wand of Watoom oh, yeah. amplifies his powers, and the Axe of Angaroo whatever cuts through mystical beings. Fun fact, Strange found that axe in my ex-wife's old witch cave. I mean apartment. Huh. But most versatile of all is the Eye of Agamotto. With this amulet, Strange can perceive any truth, absorb massive amounts of energy, enhance his psychic powers, and fire a light that can weaken and obliterate magical entities. If you haven't noticed, Doctor Strange is super powerful. With all this magical uh, yeah, no jumbo, he's taking on some of the biggest threats in the universe. I remember. No. No. I've come to bargain. And if he ever gets stuck, no, not that. Actually, they put that in animation. Which is probably what happens when you divide by zero. That's not even possible. Exactly. It's magic whiz. Anything zero can happen. Zero divided by zero. The planet in, quote, <laughs> Jesus. Precious seconds, putting him at several million miles per hour. Even better, when Adam Warlock once used an infinity gem to banish Strange to the far reaches of the universe, Strange just cast a spell that zoomed him all the way back. So yeah, Shit. Go, Adam. Given what we see here, Doctor That's Strange is most likely sent to a void, or a large empty area between galaxies. The void where our galaxy resides is about 2 billion light years in diameter, with the Milky Way set relatively close to the center. Based on Strange's conversation here, we can assume a generously short time frame of 5 seconds. So, Strange must have moved over 4.27 uh, okay, trillion miles per hour. Damn! Damn! That's Holy fuck! times the speed of light. Damn! Oh, how about that time he ripped the soul out of his arch nemesis and sent him back in time? Or when he restored his cloak of levitation from mere scraps? Or when he beat up Galactus and totally scrambled his brain? With his immense magical prowess, what? Strange has survived blasts from Voltor, a robot with the power to move stars, and even withstood a supernova. At minimum, an exploding star outputs over 350 septillion gigatons of TNT. That's this six octillion septillion. times greater than the Sar Bomba, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever made. Not impressed yet? Well, Strange can manipulate oh, fuck yeah. stars himself. That's right, this guy uses supernovas as weapons. Strange is exceptionally clever, and while his physique is not superhuman, it's worth noting that he is a talented athlete and martial artist. This is important, as the use of magic can wear down the magician's body if it is unfit. His immortality has also proved incredibly useful. I'll say, he's looking pretty good for a guy born in the 1930s. 
more than that. At one point, yeah. Strange was recruited by the Vashanti to fight in a magical war, which lasted 5,000 years. Holy shit! I hope he got some really good veterans. That beard growing skills. But for real, this guy has the power to protect the universe and reshape it however he wants. I know which doctor I'm calling the next time I'm sick. Who are you? Fuck. I'm yes. Strange. Sorcerer Supreme. Tell me, Boomstick, do you believe in fate? I only believe in one no. thing, yes. Wiz. 18 year 100 proof whiskey. Well, after accompanying his father on an archaeological expedition in Mesopotamia, 12 year old Kent Nelson certainly did. That sounds like uh, Yuga Batamia from uh, Tim Turner. Like tools or pottery, Kent uncovered a 10 billion year old god. Too bad waking him up also gassed Kent's dad to death. This slumbering god Aww. was Nabu, a lord of order time. born from the very beginning of the universe. Time. Someone's gotta While die. Nabu normally cares little about the universally inconsequential concerns of individual humans, this time was different. Nabu took the newly orphaned Kent under his wing and taught him the ways of magic. Oh, sweet! Well, I'd take a god dad over an ordinary one any day. But really, I I'd just take any dad. Though Nabu wasn't too keen on the actual parenting part of the deal. So he just magic Kent into a full grown adult over the course of a week. Does that mean he got hit with all those years of awkward puberty all at once? My oh god. my gosh. Talk about a mood swing. To master the mystic arts, Nabu granted Kent three ancient relics. First and foremost, Kent donned the golden helmet of fate. Well, Kent woke up the physical body. Now I wonder, I, I, I wonder how he got the name. His helmet. So when Kent put it on, his spirit merged with Nabu's and they became Dr. Fate. I am an agent of order. Wait, he's 12. Technically, he can't be a doctor yet, right? Well, in time, he became a trained physician and achieved a PhD in archaeology. Good for him. Anyway, he's also got yeah. the Cloak of Destiny, which gave him flight, super strength, and superhuman durability. Lastly, he received the Amulet of Anubis, a talisman which increases fate's powers, counters opposing magic, and can launch an intense beam of magical firepower. It also houses a oh. pocket dimension, where the souls of past Dr. Fates reside. Oh yeah, lots of people have worn that shiny helmet, and not all of them were doctors. Even Kent's wife, Inza, got in on the magic action. But Kent is, like, the main one, so we're sticking with him. As Dr. Fate, Kent became the immortal champion of the supernatural Lords of Order in their fight against the vile Lords of Chaos. And he learned tons of wacky wizard skills he can use with just a thought. Perfect for putting chaos gods in their place. Fate can use telekinesis. Oh, I think that was uh, uh, Dr. Strange, Strange for a sec. Hypnotize foes, read minds, teleport vast distances, create an astral projection of himself, travel through time and dimensions, and even manipulate matter at a molecular level. Let's face it, Wiz. He's so powerful, he can basically do whatever the hell he wants. Like that time he did a Freaky Friday body swap with Blue Beetle like it was nothing. He can even conjure up Superman's Kryptonian powers for himself. That's right. This guy can just decide to be Superman for a day. With his mighty magic, what? fate has turned buildings into dust, thrown a planet into a sun, and physically held back the destruction of the universe. The helmet, just the helmet, once flew through space so fast it reached the velocity of God, and then bounced off the edge of the universe. What the hell does that even mean? Fate has returned what? his body from a single thought, withstood hits from the likes of Superman and Ultraman, and somehow survived in a dimension of reality where literally nothing exists. Who the hell is writing this crap? Also, when DC decided to reboot their entire comic line, Fate was one of the only characters to survive the crisis that literally collapsed the multiverse. But he does have one big weakness. The helmet is Nabu, and Nabu is the source of Fate's powers. So if you remove the helmet, he loses his magic. For the most part, Kent does possess some magical ability of his own, like telekinesis and super strength, but he's not even remotely close to the potential of Dr. Fate. And even further from the true fate. 
when the souls of a man, a woman, and a god come together, in this case Kent, Inza, and Nabu, they create Dr. Fate's ultimate state of being, an entity with enough power to rip the universe apart and effortlessly overpower other lords of order and chaos. Sadly, like all menage a trois scenarios, keeping this going for too long could destroy all three of them. So fate doesn't go final form unless he absolutely has to. Still, the people of the cosmos I mean, can sleep easy knowing fate character. is on their side. Your fate is utterly binding. Who are you? Well, let me show you, my friend. Like a all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I'll teach you how to be a wizard in the kitchen. No one cares about cooking. Okay, maybe I do, but still, that's different. Right now, you're probably shouting at your screen, where do I sign up? So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your first three meals free. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Can't wait. Oh, that there geez. are two sorcerer supremes in this existence. I am here to resolve this embarrassment. I see somebody needs a lesson in manners. Doctor Strange, kick his ass! You come from April? No, where did it go? <laughs> okay, for this one, I will be. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, what? There's some dope piece of shit. Animation though. Let <laughs> me just cape. <laughs> so the god is just a man in disguise. Let's see how you fare with him. <laughs> Shut up! Ashto, grant me the Crimson Bag for Cinerac! <laughs> Friend once told me the helmet doesn't make the man. Oh god, that one! But I will use it! What? Okay, who did this? Okay, not just trade, not just trade, but not fate. This was the new favorite animation so far. I love it. I can't stop you here. Maybe in there. Oh. 
Yeah, right, can't do that. By the hoary host of Hoggoth. Where am I? Doctor Strange. Welcome to our this matchup was bizarre. You might even say it was strange. What? Save the puns, Wiz. That's my job. But yeah, both these doctor wizards were so stupidly powerful, trying to find their limit was like looking for a needle in a haystack. But nobody remembered to pump the needle there in the first place. With their maximum potential seemingly unmeasurable, it's easy to make an argument for either one to win. If given the chance, Strange could have certainly, say, stolen Fate's powers, or maybe even just willed him out of existence. I bet plenty of Strange fans are letting us know how in the comments below. And that's fine, but Death Battle looks at the larger picture to find the most likely outcome of them all. I like the most simply bullshit results ever to piss off your family. <laughs> But Nabu's been around since the beginning of the universe. Over 10 billion years. He definitely had way more experience. Fate also had the advantage of casting the majority of his spells non-verbally, while many of Strange's required specific hand movements and incantations. Still, it was only a matter of time until the Eye of Agamotto informed Strange of Fate's Listen. one weakness. Depowering him wasn't as easy as you'd think. He had his own magic, and his superhuman strength was something Strange didn't have at all. Basically, anything Strange could do, Fate could do, too. But even more. Remember how Strange cast a spell which moved him six quadrillion times the speed of light? Yep. Now remember how Fate's helmet flew from Earth to the edge of the universe and back? It took about one year to make this trip. Given the estimated scope of the observable and unknown universe, a trip of this magnitude would require the helm to fly nearly 28 decillion times the speed of light. That's over four quintillion times faster oh than Oh my Frank. gosh! Look at it this way. Strange was a man borrowing the powers of a god, while Fate's a god borrowing a man. Plus that power wait, boost with Wait, what does the hell have to do with anything? Put Fate on a level above the gods in his universe. Something Strange can't really do himself. Both Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate possessed in Wait, wait, what does the hell have to do with anything? That's how fast how we can go. Physical abilities and a well, not Fate himself, unless that was unless the helmet gives unless the helmet gives Faith the same beat speed boost as as but how? Exclusive commentary on this episode. Click that box right over there. And if you want the battle music for yourself, there's a download link in the description. See you next time. I still have to say this was my favorite. Oh yeah, Reed versus um Oh 3D. Okay, let's be honest right now. Let's be honest right now. Let's be completely honest right now. if it will stop. Let's be completely honest right now. Jen will win. This is not even a matchup that needs to be done. Because so many people already did this fight. So many people. Who? And make sure you rewind twice. Evil over you versus um, Devil Jen. In base form versus Jen. Uh, what was it? Um, what did you use versus? Fiction, fictional fights. They did that. I know there's probably even more. Um, versus Verdict, they did that. It's so predictable. Jen wins. Even though, if they want to highball um, Ryu, that's not gonna work. Because 
One, he just chokes him out with his telekinesis. He's stronger, faster, more durable. I mean, yes, he has the... What is it? The, the Raging Demon? Or whatever that translation is. Yeah, the Raging Demon. Which can put Ken down. But Ken is so much faster that that will not happen. So it's not a matchup that Ryu can win. Maybe someone else. Maybe someone else. But in the um, Street Fighter universe. But not Ryu. Especially with his d dark form. No, it is a Tekken character which is actually new. So, it's all about how they research Jin. But otherwise, Jin will win no matter what. No matter how, no matter how much you want to lowball him, he will lose no matter what it is. Seriously, even I, even I, I'm not a Street Fighter nor Tekken character, and I already know, even you know, by watching everybody else doing it, Jin win the majority of the time. I can even research it right now to see, no, not go online saying, oh yeah, well Ryu win against Jin. No, I'm not going to do that. I can legit do research and even post it on my channel to show you that Jin wins. Even though if I do lowball him in highball Ryu, he's not gonna win. I don't know why they're doing this fight. They could do any other fight. Yes, it is fan service, um, fan fights for this one. But who fucking requested Ryu versus Jin? Even though a good majority of people, if they, you know what? Look, let me. Let me type this in. Let me type this in. I will show you. I, uh, there's probably not a lot of Ryu versus. No. Stop it. I can't even show you myself. Uh, versus. Jin. Okay. And. Yeah. You cannot tell me. Even Death Bell himself did a one minute melee. Two fucking years ago. Jeez. This shows you how many freaking time Jen and Ryu already fought. This goes to show. I mean, yes, there are some predictions, but the. Okay, look. One minute melee did it. Arc arcade mode, they did it, aka my raccoon. Rewind did it, like I told you twice. Fictional fights did that two years ago. And there's another one again. Fictional fights did it. Okay, probably less than I thought. Okay, it's probably less than I thought, but this goes to show how many verses the Generous Ryu. Try to find some more real quick. Gen versus Ryu, Gen and Ryu versus Goku. Yeah, that's not ever gonna fucking happen. Gen versus Ryu. Ken Bush you get the picture now. People already did the fight. No matter what it is, Jin will win. But sorry guys, that took longer than... I'm sorry guys if that took longer than expected, the ending. But either way, I just want to get this out the way. What's the fucking point of making a video? Was it? No, not the video itself. What's the point of making Jin vs. Ryu? Someone explain me that. Because what's the point? So many people already did it. Even though, even though, I will even do my own research and post it on this channel to just show you how, how unreliable it is. It's stupid. This matchup. Not Death Battle himself. This matchup. Now, without 
further ado, without me rambling on no more, uh, please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, whatever you use to watch this video, punch that screen, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it! Ah, oh, fuck, that, didn't, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Do it! Whenever you get a chance, without further ado, guys, peace out.